We need three more. Angel? 170 children wear the Holy Savior uniform, but they're not your typical Catholic students. In fact, 80% of them are not Catholic at all. Which makes it special because it has a unique ministry to minister to those who would not typically have an opportunity to come to Catholic school and for those who are from other faith traditions. Many students do belong to other churches, but their families choose Holy Savior for their education. They like the faith-based curriculum. They like the close-knit environment. They like the small class sizes. Well, I like my friends and the teachers here. We get to answer questions and we get to learn a lot about religion. What is the Eucharist faith? And while their classes focus on the Catholic faith, kids also study the Bible and universal themes of love and respect. We build on what we have in common. And then we teach about the special aspects of our doctrine, the beauty of our faith. And kids have some kind of knowledge of that, and I think that that stays with them. There's a family that attended um, Strangers Rest Baptist Church, and every year those children would win the Bible contest. And so the <laughs> pastor asked uh, the mom, you know, what are you doing with your kids? She said they attend Holy Savior. And so they would go back because they learned scripture every day and had religion every day. So we do not proselytize or try to remove someone from their faith tradition, but we just try to enhance it with our traditions. Religious icons around Holy Savior also reflect the school's diversity. And Father Billinger works with the Greater Wichita Ministerial League, a partnership among churches. What I do is when I meet the ministers, for example, I just try to assure them that um, we're supporting the faith of your denomination and your tradition and that we will do, you know, we will teach about our faith but not in a sense of taking them away from their church. Adding to Holy Savior's diversity is the issue of poverty. 71% of its students are low income and most come from single parent homes. Only one third of our families, of our children, live with both biological parents. So we do a lot of parental support. Including classes held each quarter for parents, grandparents and legal guardians on a number of topics. Raising your African-American male child, anger management, um, first-time home buyers, um, eating nutritious. At the same time, teachers help the students learn character development, how to make healthy choices, and why each is special in God's eyes. Growing them both in their academics and in their faith, and helping them to see that they are important, they are special, they are worthy, they are uniquely and wonderfully made. Help students, especially uh, at-risk students, to be able to perform well because they feel their value, they feel their worth, and we can build that up through our faith side. The proof is in the test scores. Holy Savior has reached the standard of excellence several times on state assessments. Last school year, overall, we raised our test scores um, about 46% overall. It was the best school that I ever went to. Holy Savior celebrates its accomplishments in the face of change. The school is operated out of three different sites in eight years as the parish works to raise enough money to build a new school next to the church on North Erie. Until then, Holy Savior makes do with a former public school building, what used to be Carter Elementary. The halls are a little narrow. We do not have a gym. Um, our cafeteria is in a portable. Uh, we cannot gather our children together. We still transport back and forth on Fridays for mass. Yet staff and students are patient, praying that within three years, construction will start and Holy Savior's exodus will be over. We no longer feel like Israelites in the wilderness. <laughs> and through it all, the small school has thrived. Despite its great needs and few resources, it's become an example of faith and diversity, not just in the Catholic community, but across Wichita. I say Holy Savior is like the bumblebee. You know, on paper, a bumblebee is not designed to fly. <laughs>
and yet it soars and it goes from plant to plant, uh, pollinating and helping life. And that's how I see Holy Savior. On paper, we weren't designed to fly because we have so many obstacles. Everything is just not just right. Yet we do, and we go from flower to flower, from student to student, helping to support life in our community.